What is up everybody, it's Punxu here with Battle Axe Theater. As you know, I have mentioned that we have recently been playing Nosomi XI and Project 99, so I wanted to take a moment and create a video that shows you guys how to get Nosomi set up on your PCs. So let's go ahead and jump in. Alright guys, so the first thing that we're going to need to do is head on over to na.nasomi.com. This is going to be your primary site that you're going to go to for anything that involves Nasomi. There's wiki here, your account management is here. Everything that you need to install the game is at this website. Once you've navigated to the Nasomi website, what you're going to want to do is click on the download section. And there are a couple of different options here. If you're using uTorrent or any other torrent downloader, you can download the torrent or the direct file download. So let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna go ahead and download the direct download from this site. And then we're gonna go back by clicking on the little chocobo up here and we're gonna download this launcher update, the Ashita launcher. Now Nasomi does use the Ashita launcher, which is used for many other servers that you connect to uh, when, when you're playing on private Final Fantasy servers. So we're gonna go ahead and download the ones that are appropriate for this particular server. So while these files continue to download, let's go ahead and select the account link on the Nasomi website. And here we'll find another link to sign up for the forums. Now what you're going to want to do is after you create your form account access, you're going to get a verification email. Once you verify your account, you'll then have the opportunity to create a login for the Nasomi servers. Once you've activated your account, after verifying the email that's sent to you, you're going to click on account again here and log in. Once logged in, you're going to be presented with a screen that's similar to this. As you can see, I've already created two accounts. Those particular accounts are my main, my alt, and then you're allowed a mule as well. Each account can only have one character per the rules of Nasomi. Go ahead and click on the create link that's gonna be under your main account here and you'll be presented with this page. This is going to be the account username and password that you actually log into the server with to connect and play with. So go ahead and do that and click create, and then you'll see that updated here again on your main screen. It will have your main account, you will have your login, however you will not have a character listed because we're going to go through those steps uh, here in a few minutes. All right, once you've downloaded those files, go ahead and navigate to the download location and locate the Ashita zip file as well as the Nasomi v20 file. Now this may be in a zip format if you downloaded it via the direct link or if you torrented it, it will be a folder as you see here. Now what you're going to want to do once you've done this is go ahead and launch the Nasomi XI launcher. Now what this will do is this will bring up your setup for Nasomi XI and you're just gonna kind of follow through the prompts and install as if you would install any other piece of software. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Now it's gonna pop up asking you if you want to make an account. You can say yes, you can say no, what have you. Um, in this particular instance, we're just going to go ahead and say no, even though I did click yes there because we've already created those accounts while we were waiting for these files to download. So at this very moment, these files are installing so we've chosen in this particular instance, we're going into our programs file. So keep in mind where you're installing this because we're gonna need this location later. So in order to save some time, I've already pre-installed this game as I've been playing on it, as I had mentioned previously. So we're gonna navigate to the Nasomi folder. Now, when we navigate to the install folder, you're going to follow along as is. You're going to go through the process of getting into that folder. You're gonna go into Square Enix and you're gonna find an Ashita folder. What you're going to do is you're going to take this file that is inside of this zip folder and you're going to completely replace everything that is in here. So you're going to completely overwrite your Ashita folder. I'm going to not do that because I have done some additional things that I'm going to cover in another video in the future. But for this very moment, go ahead and copy that over. Otherwise, you won't be able to log into the game. 
All right, so once you've loaded up the game, you're gonna notice that the volume is quite loud on Final Fantasy when it first loads. One of the things that I suggest is if you're installing this on a Windows machine that you go into your volume mixer and turn the volume down to roughly five to 10%, and then you can make some fine tuning adjustments once you get into the game. All right, so once you load into the game, you're gonna see a screen that looks like this. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click the accept button here. And then we are going to once we click accept, we're going to create our character. So once you log into the game and you enter into your character creation screen, you're going to have several races that you can choose from. Uh, we'll go into more details with some future guides and things on this particular part of the gameplay, but really want to show you guys how to get set up. So once you get your character created, uh, there's going to be some steps that you'll need to follow. It's pretty simple. You're going to choose the character style that you want. And then you're also going to choose the, you're going to choose the race that you want, you're going to choose your styling, you're going to choose your basic class. So we're going to go ahead and get into the game here. And there are a few basic features that I would like to walk you guys through on how to get set up once you're in the game. Now I've already done these, so what you're going to see is when you start up your game, you're going to open your menu with the minus sign on your keyboard. And once you open up that menu, you're going to go into your config and inside your config, you've got a couple of different options that we're going to change. There's not going to be a whole lot of setup that goes into this because this is really just a basic setup to get you going. And then you can fine tune it the way you want. And we'll cover some of these other uh, like uh, tunings in a future video. So the first thing we're going to take a look at is miscellaneous too. When you start the game, your resolution is going to look something like this. Everything's going to be kind of fat and bloated looking. So depending on the resolution of your screen, you're going to want to select the background ratio, and then you're going to slide it up to the to max the actual uh, aspect ratio of your screen. In my case, it's 16 by nine, and as you can see, it's already better. You also find that your graphics probably don't look as high quality as this, because I am using an HD conversion that converts some of the textures to higher quality, which again, we'll cover in a future video. So once we've got that figured out, we're good to go. Everything looks proportional on our screen. The last thing I would recommend, and this is not something you have to do, but most people who have played this in the past uh, would have played with a controller and a mouse and keyboard and their controls would have been inverted. So you're going to want to invert your third person and if you prefer to play in first person, invert those as well. And that will allow a left turn of the stick or a left scroll of the mouse to go left and right is right. Uh, that's the, the viewing angle that you have. Those are the two basic things that you want to get set up with. So once you've registered on the forums, you've created your account, you've downloaded and you installed Nasomi and the location that you want it to be in, and then you've gone ahead and added the new Ashita launcher and you've launched the game with your account, you're pretty much ready to go and get started. Now we're going to have some videos here going forward in the future that talk uh, about and touch on some of the uh, new player game experience. We're also going to talk about some more advanced setup features uh, in the client to give you these more HD quality graphics if that's what you prefer. Uh, and, and a few other features in the game. And obviously the more we play this the more it's going to grow. Expect us to cover more Final Fantasy XI Nasomi as well as some Project 99 and I believe we're going to go ahead and test out a little bit of EverQuest Reborn and maybe do a little video on that uh, in the near future as well. So I hope this was helpful. Check back with us in the next upcoming weeks. We do a video every Friday. If you like what you're watching, make sure you mash that subscribe button and uh, make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified when we create a new video. And as always, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next week.